Okay, so tutorials from Mr. Giles class. We're going to make a beach scene and I'm going to just show you very quickly how I would do that. I'm just going to set the size to whatever size I want, select color and create. So I have this generic background. So just to be real quick, uh, my student Sean showed me this tool and I totally forgot about this tool. The tool is called the, um, where is it? Choose I don't want crop. There we go. Sorry, this is the tool area. And he said, oh, Mr. Giles, what about the line tool? And I'm like, oh my gosh, the line tool. Like, duh. So I'm going to select the line tool. I'm going to make sure that the outline is solid and that the fill is off. Okay, I'm going to make sure the fill is off by clicking in the middle of it. I'm going to pick black as my color because that makes a nice solid line. It's easy to see. I'm going to make it a little thicker. And you can see the thickness of your line. I'm going to make it pretty decent level of thickness. OK, so now I've got my line. Now, every time you click, when you double click, it stops. So if I click once, it starts my line. I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to just click to here. And then you have the ability to um, drag. Ah, shoot, I don't even see where the lines are. Oh, there it is. There's like a little handle. Well, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to make this is going to be my beach. There's there's my first beach line. My next line is going to be horizon. Click once. The second time you click, it's going to draw that line out. This is it. This is all I need. Oh, there's the handle. You can actually bend your lines. There's like a little handle that appears on the edge. And you can grab that handle and sort of bend it. Um, I'm going to use the arrow tool and see if I can select. You can also rotate these things after the fact. You can't do much with it. Oh, there it is. How about that? Move point, handle. So I can grab this handle and you can sort of bend things sometimes. It's not, I wish I knew how it worked every single time. I feel like I'm not sure every time if I'm doing it right. So there's my beach. I have my, this is, this is gonna be, this area right here is gonna be my ocean. I'm gonna just click the arrow tool so it stops doing that. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool, and I'm going to fill one with a sandy color. That feels like a sandy. And you can always change the exact amount. And I'm going to make sure that it's on pixel fill. I'm going to click. I don't like that color. So I'm going to go back to my pixel fill. See, there's still this dotted line thing. That means I can still change it. So I'm going to click on the fill color, and I'm going to change that to a sandy color. See, it changed. Now I'm going to hit Enter. Boom. There's my sand color. Now. I'm going to pick a light blue for the sky, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to go back to the Paint Bucket tool, and I'm going to choose a darker blue for my ocean, like this, and hit. Now, see those little white lines? I don't like that. So I'm going to hit Control-Z. I'm going to go back. If you ever get that, you can just change the tolerance and make the tolerance stronger, and then try it again. See that? That got rid of most of those lines. So I'm going to hit Enter. I have now got a nice little scene and I could bring in a palm tree. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to I'm going to just type palm tree PNG go to Google go to wherever you look for images and I'm going to look for a transparent background PNG. And when I click on this tree and maybe I'll even put cartoon see if I can find like more of a cartoony look at that look at that. Now I'm going to click on the picture It'll pop up over here. And the way to tell if it's a true PNG is it usually will disappear and go to a checkerboard, which that didn't happen. So I'm going to try this one. It loads for a second. And sometimes it shows up. You know what? I could still, I could still use this picture right here. I'm going to right click, copy image. Then I'm going to go back into, oh my gosh, where is Sketchpad? There it is. Go back into Sketchpad. I'm going to hit Control and V as in Victor, and paste it. And there's my tree. Now, if you look at the tree, Control Z, if you look at the tree, I clicked and it filled with blue because that's the last thing I had selected. I'm going to switch this to the magic wand tool. Where's the magic wand selection tool? I don't see it. Is there a magic wand selection tool? Anybody? Is there? I don't know. Where is it? Chum, show me. I feel like I don't know. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no, here. There's an old magic selection tool. You can go here. This one? Yeah. Uh huh. 
cut around it. Oh, I can cut around it? Yeah. But there's not like a like a selection thing where it'll pick it. Oh man. I want you to pick this color and like go away color. Yeah, I see. I'm gonna have to erase this color. Well, I'm gonna find an actual PNG then. This tutorial has been a fail on my part, and it's okay. Sometimes you fail, Mr. Giles. And that's okay because Sometimes you don't. I'm going to try this one. This one has the checkerboard. I'm going to see if it works. Sometimes it just brings the checkerboard picture, which I don't want. You don't want the checkerboard picture. Control V. <sighs> nah, stupid checkerboard. No one wants you there, checkerboard. It's true. The checkerboard feels left out, but sometimes you have to tell the checkerboard that you don't want them there. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to put a palm tree. For now, I could just draw a palm tree. I'm gonna draw one. I'm gonna go to my path, go to pen, make it a little thicker, make sure it's black. I'm gonna just do my outline. And then I can sort of fill that color in. So there's my palm tree. This, the, the brush thing is kind of weird. Um, but there you go. I'll fill that with a color like, I don't know, palm tree, green, too strong. Go back, change the tolerance to a much lower, too strong. And so my lines are really thin. So it's it, see that, there we go. Also right there, there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna fill the rest of it with brown for the, the, the trunk of the tree. There we go. And then I need to close this. Otherwise, it's not going to fill. Plus, I kind of need to just paint this. I'm going to use the paintbrush or the the this tool here. Why isn't it making it bigger? I don't understand why my pen has this like weird control Z. I'm going to refresh. You always have a problem, hit the reload button because, man, that helps solve a lot of problems that you might encounter with Sketchpad. It's a free program, so sometimes you just got to live with what you got. Okay, let's go to outline. I'm going to use this color eyedropper, and I'm going to pick that color brown so it picks the exact color brown. And then I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to try to make it like a lot thicker. Honestly, I don't know why there's two of these. I'm not sure I'm understanding what it's doing. That does not look like the same color brown, does it? Why is that? Eyedropper. It's like a lighter brown. It's like that. Why didn't it pick that color brown? I don't know. OK, this is not my favorite drawing of a palm tree. Probably be better if I started with that color and I made probably draw the palm tree first before I draw the other lines, maybe. I don't know. But there you go. I made my beach background. Is it the best? No, it's not. Is it the worst? No, I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever made. So um, there you go. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, if you wait for things to be perfect, you'll probably never finish them. So my encouragement is finished, not perfect. Just finish the thing. And it doesn't have to be like even this. See that? Like, why is the palm tree behind the horizon and then in front of it? Because physics wrong. But I like it anyway. And I'm going to download this for for uh, pivot. And you can spend more time and make it better. But there's my beach background. Mr. Giles signing off on a pretty horrible palm tree beach background. Have a great day.